Oh, you know that sound, don't you? Soon the sound of cicadas will be louder than ever. For the first time in over 200 years, two broods will be emerging together, the 17-year and the 13-year cicadas. This is on top of the yearly cicadas that emerge each year. While we will only see the 13-year brood here in North Carolina, you can still expect a pretty major emergence. Here to talk about it is NC State entomology professor Clyde Sorensen. He is taking your cicada questions as well. You can text them to the number that's on your screen right now 336-379-5775. All right, I got to tell you when you hear that there could be trillions of cicadas, it makes me think that it's like a bad B movie and all these things are going to come alive and get us. Well, they're definitely coming alive, but they have no interest in getting us. So. <laughs> well, this is good. I'm glad to hear it. All right. So they're, where can we expect to see all of these cicadas? So in, in North Carolina, the, most of the emergences are going to follow kind of the eastern edge of the Piedmont from, say, north of Rocky Mount on down towards uh, Charlotte. And uh, in your area, there, there probably are going to be good numbers in Randolph County, Alamance County. Uh, certainly good numbers in Orange County. Um, Chatham County is liable to have a lot as well. Uh, and they may they may actually extend up into Guilford County. So one of the things that, that's uh, uh, kind of important for your viewers to know is, is that we don't have a 100% uh, complete understanding of exactly where they are. So it'd be very interesting to us if folks in Guilford County or uh, Forsyth County or uh, adjoining areas were to be seeing cicadas this year. Right, because this is a forecast. I mean, it's not like the cicadas know where the county lines are. No, no, no. In fact, they're not uniformly distributed within each county. It's not like, you know, they're going to be in Wake County and they're going to stop at the Johnston County line. That, that's not how it works. Uh, um, they're, they're, uh, uh, in, in each county, there are going to be areas where they uh, are much more abundant. And there are going to be areas in each county where there probably aren't any at all. All right, so um, why is that? Why do certain parts of the state see them and other parts don't? Well, I mean, part of that's a, a kind of a historic artifact um, of where they've been in the past. So when you, when you talk about a brood of cicadas, what you're actually talking about is the geographic distribution of one cohort, one year uh, class of these periodic cicadas. And so the broods kind of, if you look at, the, at, at a map of brood distribution, it's almost like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. And um, what's going on this year is the biggest jigsaw puzzle uh, piece is meeting up with another one of the jigsaw puzzle pieces up in northern Illinois. Okay, so has this ever happened like this before? So the last time this particular concurrence happened was in 1803 when Thomas Jefferson was president. So uh, it, it's been a long time since this particular set of phenomena kind of lined up like they like they have uh, this year. Um, there are a couple other um, potential concurrent emergences, uh, but it's a pretty rare event. Uh, so our cicadas that are going to be here in North Carolina are all 13 year species and the ones in northern Illinois are 17 year species. And so the way you get to how often that happens is by multiplying 13 by 17. <laughs> okay. And that's where that's where you get. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion around cicadas because, like, I, I'm seeing this uh, question right here from someone who texted in. Why do they say cicadas only come out every seven years? And I've seen them every year underneath my cedar tree in Ramsar. Yeah. So the cicadas that you see every year um, are. Some folks call them annual cicadas, but that's not really accurate because even those cicadas have multi-year life cycles. Better, I, I like the term dog day cicada better because they, they, they tend to be, those cicadas, the, the ones that come up every year, tend to come up in uh, July and August and September, later in the summer. And um, so they have a different strategy than the periodic cicadas. And so some of them come up every year. So we have uh, swamp cicadas coming up every year. But bear in mind, the cicadas that come up every year have spent several years in the soil, just like the periodic cicadas do feeding on tree roots. It's just that their strategy is to be wary and come up, uh, some come up every year, whereas the periodic cicadas um, come up 
once every 13 years basically to swamp their predators. Okay, so it's kind of like they're in hibernation because we don't see them and then they surface and that's how they kind of do it? Well, it's not exactly hibernation um, because what, what's, what, what you're seeing is the, the cicadas that we'll see are the adult stage of a very long life cycle. Um, and they spend most of that life cycle as immatures. We call the immatures of cicadas nymphs. And uh, they spend the vast majority of their life as nymphs in the soil, um, feeding pretty much continuously on tree roots. Okay. All right. We're going to continue to have this cicada conversation because we got lots more questions to ask because this just sounds crazy. So uh, we want you to get your questions in. We'll be back in just a few minutes.